If you have a brand new LCD television or you've recently reset it, you'll want to go in and adjust the picture settings so that you have the most faithful, accurate video reproduction possible. Now this happens to be a Samsung TV. Other manufacturers provide similar picture controls, although some of the settings might be labeled differently. The concept is the same. First thing you want to do is start with the picture mode presets. These are factory configured presets that quickly adjust the overall picture quality for different room light environments, different color, and different detail levels. You'll want to find one labeled Movie or Cinema or THX, and that will give you the most accurate color quality right out of the box. Next, adjust the LCD's light output using the backlight control. In a dark room, turn it down for eye comfort. In a brightly lit room, feel free to crank it up. This is your go-to control for making quick picture brightness adjustments without interfering with other picture settings that affect detail, like sharpness. Sharpness is really nothing more than artificial edge enhancement, and for the most accurate image representation, it's best to simply turn it off. However, a little edge enhancement can improve the look of standard definition video like DVDs and older TV shows. But for quality HD sources like Blu-ray movies and video games, just say no. Now I'll check the picture size setting to make sure that I'm seeing every video pixel. Most TVs default to a setting called 16x9, and this sounds right until you realize that it crops the outer edge of all HD video sources. Look for a setting called screen fit or just scan or dot by dot. Manufacturers often label this differently. Correctly configuring this setting ensures that every video pixel is visible for improved image detail. Also, the setting may need to be configured separately for 720p and 1080i video formats. Next, I'll dive a bit further into the picture menus to find the video noise reduction settings. This TV has two noise reduction controls, one related to compression artifacts like mosquito noise, and the other for affecting film grain or analog noise-like artifacts. I disable any noise reduction features because there is a chance the algorithm will soften fine picture details no matter how well implemented the filter may be. Moving on down to film mode, when watching interlaced video formats like 1080i, if the video material was originally captured at 24 frames per second, like many TV shows and movies, enabling the film mode setting will reconstruct a progressive 24p picture from the interlaced signal. This improves picture quality and it reduces image artifacts. This TV happens to have two options for film mode with a small technical difference between them. The important thing is to have it enabled. Now, if you notice that your LCD makes the on-screen motion in movies appear too smooth, like a soap opera, we can eliminate that artificial enhancement. This TV refers to this feature as Auto Motion Plus. Other brands label it as Motion Flow, True Motion, or Smooth Motion. The quick fix is to simply turn it off. However, this TV has a custom option that provides separate controls for film and video content, and I really prefer this approach. Blur reduction only affects video sources like sports programming, where it can actually help picture quality. And the film-related judder setting is reduced or turned off to minimize the smoothing of movies. Some TVs provide an alternative for improving video motion resolution without smoothing artifacts. Here it's labeled LED clear motion, and this improves image quality by inserting black frames between each video frame to reduce motion blur. However, enabling this will reduce overall light output by half, and it may increase screen flicker. If this doesn't work well for your situation, you can always use the other options. And that's it. You've optimized the LCD's picture quality using the built-in controls, and you'll enjoy more accurate, faithful image reproduction. For more home theater information and reviews, please visit HeronFidelity.com. Have a great day.